Hello, my name is Patrick Howe. It's a pleasure to share with you today dramatic painting techniques in watercolors and oils. Night scenes offer a tremendous opportunity to explore bursts of light in intense dramatic settings. The first thing I've done is to make a drawing on my canvas board. And I've, the first thing to do is to establish a focal point, which is approximately in the center, but a little bit off to the left and a little bit lower than the center. From the focal point, I established the line of the curb and the elements in the architecture that recede into the distance to the focal point. And then I established the vertical lines that represented the major architectural elements in the buildings and the telephone pole in the foreground. So having created that framework, we're going to sketch this painting. We want to add detail, but we don't want to add too much detail. I'm going to start with burnt sienna painting in this foreground dark shadow. We want to let some of this orange underpainting show through, which will give it beautiful complexity and richness of tone. It looks like I have some other colors on my brush, which is fine. Letting them mix together. Sometimes, as a left-hander, it's most convenient to start at the right side of your painting and paint to the left. That way you don't accidentally drag your hand through the paint. It doesn't work out always that way, but it's something to keep in mind. Now we're mixing cadmium orange and cadmium red, a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. Okay, we're going to add in this brick tone here, these bricks. We'll add in the larger blocks of color first. We'll come in later with the details. Lots of little details in there, but we're not going to worry about all those details. We want to just capture the essence of what's going on there. I'm always looking to subdivide whatever shape I'm painting in, to subdivide the shape with my eye, looking at how this, this shape breaks up into smaller shapes. So in essence, we're painting many shapes locked together. I always prefer to put in the medium tones and the darks first, then come back in for the highlights. For this painting, we're not going to worry about the tile work, the detail in the tile work. A 
I'm adding in some ultramarine blue here. Painting from photos, we can be very literal with the color, or we can take more of a casual attitude and imagine colors that are there that aren't. What I want to do here is just break these strokes a little bit, just so they're not, they're not quite so dabby looking. I'm seeking to give them more depth and complexity by avoiding simply putting many little dabs down there, breaking it up a little bit so that the eye isn't captured by dabs of paint. The eye is rather captivated by whatever the scene is, and it's not detracted at every moment by the paint. There's this beautiful interrelationship between what the paint looks like and what the scene is. Here we're capturing those yellow highlights above. If it's not the perfect color, that's fine. The beauty of oil painting is you can either change it or, you know, we can change our perspective. Maybe, it's, maybe it'll look beautiful after we let it sit for an hour or so when we come back to it. What I'm doing now is looking for these dark tones, just letting my brush follow where these dark tones appear to be. And we'll come back in later and add more detail in here. Continuing to mix colors. Sometimes I'm real sure about what color I want to use. Other times I'm more intuitive about it. I just let my brush find the color it's looking for. For this exercise, we want this to be fairly sketchy. We just want to capture the essence of the light, but the other details can remain sketchy and loose. Ooh, look at this beautiful color, beautiful night sky. That time of the evening, before it's completely dark, some of the blue of the sky is still there. For this, we're using ultramarine blue and a dash of white. Yeah, 
know, letting that orange of the undertones there show through really makes it, gives it life, doesn't it? <laughs> 